Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Lazy Lynch here, and we are doing another hybrid time, and we have found a little gem that is Mattia Destro. He's obviously in. Let me have a look. What teams he even play for? He's not in one of the the bigger teams, arguably. I'm not going to start slagging him off. But either way, he's looking like a solid card. Goes for discard value, which is why I was very interested to use him, because all these discard value ones, they look as if there's no point even having them, because they are discard value, I'd rather just buy the normal one. But, little gems, that's what we're going for. So we're going to get over to the transfer market, and hope that we can get a nice player to hybrid him with. We don't want anyone from, like, I don't know, the Polish league or something. We want someone who's, you know, a nice player, maybe a BPL, a Bundesliga, we're going for 10,000 coins. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me increase this or decrease this, because, like I say, let's go gold right, we'll search now. And we have got, oh he's in the same league, so we're going to have to go for Xavi Alonso, because he's the next one. Wait, is he in the same league? Yeah, he is. Right, so we're going for Xavi Alonso, but like I was saying, um, they're not always, let me just type in Xavi. They're not always worth 10k is what I mean, obviously that's, you don't want to find like a 600 coin player be the first player to pop up and then it's a bit like, what's the point of having the 10k? Uh, let's see, what's the lowest we can get on a bite now? Bloody hell, he goes lower than that. Um, so we're getting Javi Alonso, which in my head there's already the hyperlinks going, because I know the spectacular was in our last, I think Javi Alonso was actually in our last episode, but I don't think he was our key player. Bloody hell, he goes cheap. Probably because he's got 33 pace, let's see, can we get him for 900? Right, this is the full page. Anybody cheaper? No, it's 900 or nothing. Do we go CDM? Yep, they're all CDMs. Right, so we'll slot him into the team, then we'll see what we're working with. I'm just thinking about links from the Spanish, from obviously, it's going to be easy to get the BBVA in, because obviously he's Spanish and we're going to have two Spanish in, in the midfield with that hyperlink. Well, hopefully we've got to find the formation. Let's go CDM. Boom, search me club. Nice little Ramirez. Uh, what are we doing? Formation, right. Closing my eyes. And stop. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> right, so we're sticking with the standard 4-4-2. Um, that's actually made, obviously, hybrids with a 4-4-2 is very easy because of the ease. Like, you know, you can just do a triangle there of the same team, triangle there of the same team, and then you just get hyperlink or something at the back. You don't even need a hyperlink, really. Um... But what we're going to do is we're going to get find a hyperlink to this guy, Destro. We're going to jump straight in. We're going to go League Syria. And I'm hoping that Bologna have a decent Italian right mid. Giaccarini. He is actually pretty good. So that sorted them two out. They took, those two don't need any more links now. So that's, that's the uh, privilege of a 4-4-2. That means we can smack the spectacular... In here, I am worried that the pace and the height... Hey, oh, that's not the right spelling. I've spelled it wrong. Uh, because, obviously, Thiago's not going to be that tall. But then, obviously, Xavi Alonso's not going to be able to move. So he now needs another strong... Another orange link. Which means maybe we go... I'm just thinking. We've got to get a third league in here somewhere. And it's going to be the BBVA. But the striker... Should we try and get four leagues? I think we go for four leagues. Let's go for a BPL striker. We need a, a BPL striker who gets a hyperlink with a right mid. Um, to be honest, we're probably better going for the right mid first, and that'll make my brain click. No. Oh. No. No. Mm, Dizzle. That guy. I be Basically, I have bought him in one of just a little squad that I just mess about with, and oh my god, what a player. Where is he? Oh no, because he's default. Wait, let's just go for Search Me Club. Dizzle Welbs. Oh my god, what a player. So we get Dizzle Welbs in there. Uh, where else do we need? So these two need orange links now. Which means we've got to go to the b b a Obviously, you know, a majority of Spanish centre-backs. No, we don't have any in my club. We're going to go Nation. Spanish. And we're going to have to get both Spanish centre-backs. And we're going to go for Martinez. Because people don't usually use Martinez. And we might use Bartra. We could go a hyperlink with this guy. Or we go Bartra. We go this guy. We go Bartra. Hmm. Because I'm st I'm trying to stick away from the high names because it's you know it's the same sort of stuff every time you see one of these. Um. Blah, 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 blah. No, nope, nothing else over there. Yeah, we're gonna go with Gonzalez. Get the hyperlink. Oh, we don't want him in left back though, do we? So that gets them to there. We could now get either an Italian left back. 
or a Spanish, an Italian one, Spanish, Syria or BBVA. So it doesn't really make a difference. And I think we'll go with... Bun um, do we go for... Ooh. I think we'll go for Gaia. Nice Spanish one. And then maybe we go for an English, an English right back, just for the sake of it. Oh no, obviously these players are on hyperlinked and they don't need it. But if you can get a strong link, maybe go Kyle Walker. Got him in the club already. It's always nice when that happens. And then goalkeeper can be any Spanish goalkeeper or B or B B V A goalkeeper. And actually, this can be a chance to test out. I was going to purchase him for a team online, not Moya. Just for a random team, just to mess about with. Casilla. Looks brilliant. He looks average. Looks good, actually. No, I'm lying to myself. He looks really good. What are we going for? That is that. We could do with either a Spanish one or a BPL one. I think we'll go BPL and get Dizzle on one more chem. Um, b -b 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 yep, that looks fine to me. Right, let me buy all these players and then we will be back. Okay, guys, we are back and this is what the squad looks like. It's exactly the same, just golden. What we were going to do in the process of building it was change out Theo Walcott to Oxley chamberlain because I preferred the high-medium work rates. I thought as long as he's going to be running back, that's always fine for me. But I thought we'll stick with this because this is what I built at the time. So we're going to jump into a game and get 75 million clips of me scoring. Okay, guys, we have found a game. It is the City vs. United kits. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God, this is pro. Oh my God, he's got record break of Vardy. In for third in form, Mares, which you've seen. I've done my review on him. Let's see if he can do good for him. He's got, I think that's third in form, Neymar. In form, Iniesta, Krachowiak, Santi Cazorla. I can't believe that a team of my standard has come up against a team of this standard. Hopefully, we can have Xavi Alonso running the show, but I highly doubt it. He's got Jerome Boateng in defence as well, to, just to add insult to injury. Not a chance he's scoring a bice. Foul! Ref! What is wrong with him? Don't you dare. Oh my god, I thought he walked it in. Not where I've asked you to throw that. Oh, Jamie Vardy has turned us on a sixpence. Oh my god, don't. My players are doing such stupid stuff. Don't! Don't! Stop! Yes, what a challenge. I've seen you. Can he get it to him? No. Hey up. Oh my god, I was speechless. Destro has had an open net and he has fluffed it. We could have been 1-0 up against this team. Right, we are going in at half time. And let's have a look at some stats because honestly I think we've held our own. Oh my god. Maybe we haven't held our own. The chance that we did have should have gone in. Maybe his chances. He's had two from long shots. So I'm saying it's an even game so far. You've seen the you've seen the stats and you've not seen the stats. You've seen them now. You've seen the gameplay. You decide who you feel should be winning. Him, yeah, I know. But look at his team. We'll go second half. Come on. He's come back on defence. No, 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 no way. It's offside. Oh my god. And what is that keeper doing? One, Vardy missed. Two, Casilla. Hit it into his own net. So if that would have been onside, I'm, I'm hoping he lets me watch it. So he's dinked it. Miles offside. Yeah, fair enough. No, nope, right, we're not watching it. Hate people like that. You should be able, like, it should be m a mutual thing to stop the cutscene. Yes. Spread it like peanut butter. Welbeck. Sin him. Sin him. Can he get there, please, Welbs? Dink him. Oh, yes. Yes! Oh my god, what a ball what a ball and what a goal. I'm actually screaming like out of genuine excitement. That was amazing. How has he done that? How did the keeper not get his hand to it? Oh my god. Oh, that is brilliant. Look at that ball, it goes from absolutely nowhere. One touch. Dink. Oh yes! That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Go on, Dizzle. That guy welds. Yes. Oh, God. Right, now I'm not even bothered if we lose. That was, that was amazing. Good challenge. Yes. Foul. Is he off? Is that Martinez? It's a straight red for Santi Casola. Let's see if he rage quits, because, let's face it, nobody likes getting a red card. Let's have a look at this foul. I don't see... I didn't even see it. He must have literally kicked him off. Like, I don't think the, he was even on the ball. Let's have a look. 
Oh, he slid him from behind. Yeah, that's a red card, that. See you, Santi Cazola. Don't let him get past you. Don't let him get past you. No. Jamie Vardy is literally too strong on this game. <gasps> that is the block of the season. Yes! We have won this game from an absolute worldie. Absolute worldie. To be honest, you'd, you could say this hybrid episode was around this Destro guy. Uh, Matea. Matea. Forgot his name. Destro. He didn't really do much. We'll have a look at some stats because obviously just as he didn't score doesn't mean he wasn't involved in passing, dribbling and all that. Uh, didn't get any goals or assists. Missed his only shot on target. He do, he's successful with his passes, so that's always good. Three out of four dribbles. He seems like a... He seems like what he is. He seems like a discard value in form. If you're a fan of um, Bologna, I think, or just Destro in general, then yeah, go pick him up because he's, he's, he's going to be a brilliant standard player for you. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend him if you're expecting someone who's going to win games for you. Let's just have a look because we got Man of the Match with Casilla. His keeper only made two saves. Ours made eight. But at the end of the day, 1-0 from a worldie. That's going to be the end of this episode. If you've enjoyed it, hit the like button. Don't forget to leave your comments down below about if, you want, if you've got a player that you want me to use in a hybrid time. Then let me know. Just let me know what you want to see. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay lazy.